Hello, my friends. I know it has been a while and I apologize, but summer has been wild so far. Haven't had a lot of time for games, but today I am home alone. So I thought we would pull out Onorim. Comes with seven expansions now. I've played through the three originals. So let's take a look at one of the new ones. And for this one, I thought Book of Rules, we don't need that. Book of Expansions. I was drawn to the dream catchers, and here's why. I think one of the criticisms I hear about Onirim is that there's lots of shuffling, and some people, that's a turn off, all the shuffling involved. Well, with this expansion, there is a great deal less shuffling. So if you liked Onirim, you didn't like shuffling, Try Dream Catchers, and it's a very simple expansion, all right? All you need are a total of 10 cards that we're gonna add in, okay? The heart of this expansion are these four little adorable Dream Catchers. And their job is to catch four special dreams. Now the original game has nightmares, right? the ones we want to stay away from. But these little dreams with the cute little kitty peeking over the top need to get caught by these four dream catchers. So that's the second layer on top of the base game. And that's all the expansion is, catching these four cards. You can vary the difficulty with these two cards that are called freeing cards. And what these do is they give you a little bit of a reset, a little bit of wiggle room if you get stuck in the game. You can either play with them or without them, depending on how challenging you want to make it. So we're gonna use these, just so I can show you a nice playthrough for this game. So we're gonna take our 10 little expansion cards and we're gonna shuffle them into our basic owner room deck and then we'll set up and get started on this particular expansion dream. All right, so I shuffled in those four little dream maze cards. And I left out our four little dream catchers and our two freeing do-over cards, all right? And how this changes the game is any time we have cards in limbo. In the normal game, we shuffle them back in. But with this expansion, any cards in limbo are caught by the dream catchers. It could be one, it could be five, however many had you have in limbo, that's gonna get caught by this dream catcher. But they can only catch once, okay? So once we put our limbo pile into this dream catcher, the next time we limbo, it goes into this one and so on and so forth. If they're ever all filled up, they become overloaded and we lose one of our dream catchers. It's a problem, remember, because we have four, four dreams we need to catch. So it would be nice to keep all of these dream catchers active. We'll see how that plays out here in a second. We're gonna start the game with our basic hand of five cards. And the dream catchers are not active while we're setting up the game, all right? So if we have to limbo anything, it's not going up here. Not yet, anyway. Ah, we're okay. We have no doors, we have no nightmares, and we have no special dreams. So we get to keep this starting hand, all right? And remember, we're trying to get three in a row of the same color, so we have a 50-50 chance here. Are you feeling green or red? I'm feeling red, I'm feeling red. So let's start progressing toward one of those red doors. Play a card, pull a card. Ah, oh, we should have gone green. Okay, this does not bode well, but we are committed. So let's continue down the road for red. Oh my goodness, okay. So now they're just teasing us, and that's okay, that's okay. Let's switch colors. Can't duplicate symbols, remember, so we lit. Finished with a moon. Let's start with a sun and see what we get. Okay, we're feeling the green today. Moon, come on. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. So what do we do with nightmares? Well, if we had a key, we could cancel it. We don't. We can discard a door which we don't have. Two choices. We can either chuck our entire hand of cards, which would be horrible because we needed one last green, 
or we can keep our hand of cards and chuck the next five unknown cards. And I just don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Oh, decisions, decisions. Because we could lose keys. If we have any other nightmares or dreams or doors, then we have to use up one of our limbo spots. Oh, man. All right. Let's... Uh, this is tough. This is tough. I want that green door. Okay, let's be greedy. Let's be greedy. Let's get rid of this on Nightmare by throwing away the next five cards. Okay, let's discard our Nightmare. One, two, three, four, five. What are they? Oh, there was a door in there. Darn it. So these five get discarded. All right. Our door gets put into limbo. And at the end of the turn, remember, it gets caught by one of our dream catchers. So this is a problem because this one now will be unable to catch any more dreams. The next time we limbo, that dream catcher is going to step up. So how do we get that door out of there? A couple of ways. One, we can flip one of our freeing cards. Two, and this is probably what we'll end up doing, if we manage to build toward red and we go to hunt for that red door, we're allowed to pull it from here. All right. So, so there is a way to get to this red door. All it's doing, though, is stopping up one of our dream catchers. So we're going to have to make red a priority. Okay, but we saved our hand. That's what we wanted. Great. Now we get to play our last card, and we get to go hunting for a green door. So let's look through here for a green door. There's a lot of nightmares down there. Okay, green door. Because we've hunted through this deck, we are allowed to free this card, all right? Anytime you look through a deck, even if it's for another color card, you can free any caught dream catcher. So let's do that. Let's put the red back in here, and we're going to give this a shuffle, all right? So there is some shuffling still in the game, but trust me, it's a lot less, okay? So we found our first door. And all of our dream catchers are free. We haven't found any of those special dreams yet. So let's keep going. First thing we have to do is draw back up. Okay. So I would love to continue on green because I have a completed path. The problem is I ended on a sun. All right, I ended on a sun. So let's switch colors. Let's switch to the orange and maybe we can keep going here. Okay, now I can go back to my sun. Oh, oh, another choice. Because we have it. We have the second green right here. Do we toss this hand? Or do we toss the next five? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, last time being greedy worked. Let's be greedy again, shall we? Let's discard this card and toss the next five. What do we get? Ooh, ooh, okay, that was a bad idea. Oh, that was a very bad idea. <sighs> so we lose these three cards. They're discarded forever. Now remember, these two cards would go into the limbo pile and be shuffled back in. Instead, they're gonna be caught by this dream catcher. Well, that's great because we took care of one of those. It's bad because now if we free this dream catcher, that nightmare is gonna get shuffled back in. Hmm, all right. We were greedy. We were greedy. Let's see if it pays off here. Yes, okay, we did it. Second set of green. Let's go searching. And the question becomes, do we want to free that red card over there that's sitting with that nightmare? Or do we want to leave it up there and keep that dream catcher caught? I guess for now, for now let's leave it. For now let's leave it. Um, we'll see, we can always flip one of those if this proves to jam us up later. Okay. And you have to pick this option at the start of your turn. You can't do it in mid-turn. So let's finish drawing. Okay, yes. So now here's the question. Should we prophecy with our key? 
or should we try and be greedy and get red? I feel like I feel like we've been a lot of greedy. So let's let's play it safe. Let's prophecy with our red key. And we're going to look at the first 5. We get a discard one. Oh, yes, please. And we get to reorder these in any way we wish. Ah, oh, did we get lucky or what? Okay, so we definitely want the key. We definitely want the door. We definitely want the special maze to get caught. And we definitely want the green key. Oh, this is a great, great run for us. Okay, so first we're gonna draw the key. Hmm, hmm. So let's head for red next. Let's see if we can pick up this red one. So let's play our moon. And this should be uh, our door. We're going to capture it with our key. Ooh, look at that. Draw two more. One. Caught. Two. We have to draw one more to five. Oh! <gasps> Limbo. Okay. Okay, wait. Let me go back here. I got ahead of myself. You don't limbo your po limbo pile until you're back up to a hand of five, right? So I shouldn't have put that there because as you can see, we're still building up. Oh my goodness. That was lucky. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and that's why you wait until you have five cards to deal with your limbo pile. See, you're learning from my mistakes so you don't make them. So now at this point, once we're at a hand of five, we're going to deal with our limbo. And all of these cards, this is amazing. Three of our four dream cards get caught by one dream catcher and end up right there. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Okay, so we're working down red. That's great. Problem is I don't have a matching symbol. I do have this green key, right? Which I don't need anymore because we have our doors. So let's prophecy with it and look at the next five. And hopefully, yes, that's what I wanted to see. We have to discard one. We get to reorder these. And I would love, mm, I would really love to pick up that red door. We're gonna to have to use the key to do it, however, but I don't want this orange door to end up in a limbo pile. So let's put that on the bottom, okay? And hopefully we will get where we need to be before then, unless I use the red key to prophecy again. Should we be greedy? Oh dear. Let's not be greedy. I, I feel like we've pushed our luck enough here. <laughs> Let's not overdo it. Okay, so we know that's our red key. We're just going to play it as a symbol. We're not being greedy. And now we finished, okay? So we get to go through the deck and find a red door. I'm just going to take this red door here. All right. I am not going to reshuffle these cards in because, well, obviously we don't want to do that. I'm not going to shuffle in our nightmare cards either. So we don't need to go through the deck at all. We'll just leave it as it is and pull our blue. Great. Okay. Okay. We're marching along here. We're marching along. Let's head into blue. See if we can't pick that door up. Oh, nope. I forgot about that. I forgot about should have shuffled when I had the chance. Well, win some, lose some. Okay, that's not the end of the world. That's not the end of the world. Okay. Okay, let's keep going on blue. Let's keep going on blue. Think blue thoughts here. We have an orange path, but we need a blue. Yes! Oh, look at that. <gasps> They're falling the way I like it. Okay. We take our blue, and let's take the opportunity to shuffle back in this orange because we only have one more catcher card left and if it catches something weird and we have to shuffle back in one of these two I'm gonna end up regretting it so let's go ahead 
and shuffle that orange back in here. And hopefully we'll claim it in a second. We're doing really well on doors. We're doing really well on dreams. We have a lot of nightmares left though. Okay. Blue. Blue. And we end it on a sun. Which means I have to switch symbols. All right, let's discard the green. We don't need it anymore. Let's see if we get lucky here. Yes, okay. Ooh, greedy or not greedy, what do you think? I could play it for its symbol value and get us working toward blue, but I'd be one short. Or I can prophecy. That's prophecy. Let's, let's push it. Let's push it. One, two, three, four, five. Nicely done, nicely. Oh, look at all these keys. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, all right, so how do we want to order these? So we definitely need to switch gears to orange, all right? Can't lead off with a sun. So let's do this. Let's do the keys in front, and then we'll see what happens. How does that sound? Does that sound like a plan? And let's take the red too. Let's take that red. Okay. Okay, let's try that. All right. Draw back up to five. And we're switching to orange. So we're gonna go moon, key, sun, red, and again, again with the greediness. All right, let's be greedy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's burn this last green key to prophecy. See if we can't pick up that orange symbol for free. If not, if not, we can use our key. One, two, three, four, five. Get rid of one. Oh, dear. I don't want to get rid of any. Okay, but we got our symbol. So let's get rid of the moon. And there's our last little bugaboo key. Okay, remember, when we play this moon, we're gonna force a reshuffle. So let's make sure, let's make sure the cards we want come out before that, right? Okay. So let's put that moon last. All right. So this gets limboed. We draw up. Now we deal with our limbo pile. We've caught them all with one to spare. Great, great. Okay. Oops, did I do that wrong? I did that wrong. Darn it, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't need that red. Okay. Well, let's throw away this one. Ow. Where is it? Didn't, wasn't there a third color in there? Am I losing my mind? All right, let's throw away this red. Come on, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's play it and grab our orange door, and we are very close to winning. I should knock, oh, I shouldn't have said that. I need to knock on something. All right. So we need to hold on to blues and red. We need to hold on to blues and reds. All right, we can do this. We can do this, we got this. Okay. Okay. We got plenty of keys. We've got, pl oh, we've got so many keys. It's not even funny. All right. So let's start um, blue or red. Well, let's just prophecy. Why, why, why play around? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, look at all those blues. I love it. I love it. And a red. Okay. All right. I want them all. <laughs> so I have to discard one of them. Okay, so let's discard the blue moon because we don't need it since I'm carrying one in my hand. But I want to make sure, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Okay, I definitely need the blue key and I definitely need the red, oh dear. Okay, okay, but we need to start with this. Okay, did I do that right? Let's find out. Let's find out if I did that right. 
drop to five, and it should be the sun. Great, that gets us started down the path. The moon. And I didn't do that. <laughs> I don't want to throw anything away. Darn it. All right, let's prophecy again. Let's prophecy again. One, two, three, four, five. I have to throw something away. Yes, please. I want, oh, I want all of this. Oh, it's, this is, I am just in a greedy mood today. Okay. So I definitely want this one at the end because I don't care about it. I need this one to pop, but when it does, I'm going to cause a reshuffle. And I want both of those. <laughs> oh dear, how am I going to do this? Oh dear, okay. 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 That'll buy me some time. The problem is I'm going to jam my hand up. I can't be this greedy. I can't. I just can't. So let's let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need that blue, but it's going to reshuffle. I guess I'm just gonna have to live with a reshuffle. There just isn't any way. But let's get the red key in my hand just in case uh, we need it. And we'll toss, so we'll toss one of these red suns. I know that sounds crazy, but um, I know that sounds crazy, but what can you do? What can you do when you have this great of a hand? And there it is. All right, blue door is mine. And that just leaves us with the red. And hopefully, we've got plenty of time. We have plenty of keys. We will just prophecy and kill nightmares left, right, and sideways until we find it. All right, here we go. A green, ha! Huh. Not what I need. So, let's start with a prophecy and see if we can't pop some red to the top. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, there they are. So we have to get rid of something. That's okay. We'll leave those on top. And I need to switch symbols, so let's make sure that one's up there. All right. The moon. The sun. And let's finish it with the key. Oh, fabulous. Let's peek through here, grab the last door, and we managed this game without even using those, but I will admit, pulling those in a row, that was really lucky. <laughs> I have yet to have that happen to me before. But you can see how adding in this little expansion really cuts down on the reshuffling. It gives you just a little bit more to think about, um, but I think it's a very nice little expansion to the base game. Okay, one down, couple more to go. Hopefully I'll find time again soon. Until then, have a wonderful summer, guys. Bye.